Hello everyone, it's Roadman, and welcome back to Dark Cloud. Last time, we had a deal with a limited zone with only having to, to work with Xiao and learning how painful it is to deal with a, only a ranged character. And we got a windmill now set up. We still have to have it active. And now this time, we're going back into the dungeon for another floor. We're getting closer and closer with the dungeon being completed. Which we got B13. I think we only got like three more floors left. I don't believe this is a limited zone. The last, I think the shout floor was the last limited floor that we had to deal with. Could be wrong. Okay, who am I? Oh, hi, Master Jacket. How are you doing? Okay, are you gonna fake me out? No. Okay, are you a mimic? Okay, no mimics. Ooh, we got some more wind. Yeah, we got a lot of materials to work with now. Okay, so I'm gonna deal with Master Jacket since that thing's not gonna do, do anything to me. Ooh. More Stanima drink! Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm gonna wait for Master Jacket to get over to me. Don't you dare fake me out when I'm trying to run from a Rockinoff. The Rockinoff is actually more scarier than the skeleton, believe it or not. Or I'm sorry, is there something glitching over here? Okay. Let's grab ourselves an Atla here. We have in our bench. Wouldn't surprise me if they decide to throw mimics in this last floors. Ooh, cheese. Nice. And let's grab this. And river. So we have more river to work with here. Let's see what leads us over here. I see one, two, three... Yeah, remember that Dragon Slayer I was talking about? Okay. Okay, so here's the thing. I see a Rockinoff. I am not dealing with a dragon after having to deal with a Rockinoff nearby. So you know what I say? Here, enjoy this bomb! Thank you! Two Rockinoffs, are you blasted kidding me? Okay, do not let these things combo you. Lure one away. If you let one lure combo you, you are basically asking for them to punish you. Because after one damages you, the other one will be rolling into you to do a little more damage. That's a scenario you don't want to go into. If possible, try to time your bombs correctly where you damage both of them. Now speaking of which, I see three conveniently put placed chests here. Chest number one. Fire gem. Nice. Chest number two. Map. So, we got a decent portion map here. And map number three. We do have Drone's Crest, so we don't have to worry about that. Ooh, and our fire element. So, there is going to be another dragon on this floor. I know that for a fact. I hear an Opar. I can tell it's an Opar because it's actually... Yeah, hi Opar. Now... Here's why I reckon, even so it does weak damage, she does weak damage to it. Xiao is better at taking care of these things than Tone. You do not want to get close to this thing because it can deal status effect on you. Once Opar decides to die and basically do a belly flop like that, get the heck out of the way. Because that cloud can still do stuff to you. I want to stick a Xiao right now because... Tone has been using up some water until this, be this turns out to be a side of a mimic. Okay, good. It's not a mimic. I can never tell whether I'm on a mimic floor or not, so it's always a cautionary thing. Speaking of cautionary things, are you plastic kidding me? Okay, I'm gonna go over here and try to lure one away. That's right, come over to me. This is 
the thing. I know I can take these things out in one hit. So why the heck am I so scared of them? Because they can do so much damage and two of them can easily combo me. Also, uh, I'm going to open this chest first and then we'll collect everything. Skeleton key. Well, bone key. One item. Two items. Okay. Two, one, two atlas. Okay. One atla here. Small windmill number three. So we have our third windmill. And, last but not least, an urn. Okay, so how about with this? We can do this. We'll also restore our shadows as well. We do have a little small jump there that Shao can make, but it shouldn't be much of a worry. I know one of the chests has to contain a certain item that will not be necessary, so if we get to a point where we only have one chest, we can easily just ditch the whole dungeon. <sighs> That's not worrying so much. Okay. Take care of you first. And yes, I do hear the dragon. I do not trust magic circles. I already know what happened last time. Actually, you know what? Shout! Actually, no, the, the fact that there is a item that basically just says, hey, half all your money, I am not doing that. I do have Drawn's Crest, so there's no reason for me to go after that dragon unless I get... Ooh, Llama. Yeah, there's no reason for me to go after it yet. You can get Dragon Slayer from it, but you're that's the only kind of dragon you're going to be encountering. And realistically, I've been taking care of them with bombs. Really? There's nothing else on this floor? You think there would be something guarding stuff in here? And that's just disappointing. Oh! Opar! A fitting opponent for Jao! I'm gonna see if Opar at least drops something for me. Come on, Opar! Drop something for me! Anything! Thank you, Opart. Ooh, wait. What does Petite Fish do again? It's more bait. That will be good to sell to Old Gaffer. Open this up. Drawn's Horn. Did not think I would be getting that very quickly. Well, let's just get over to Shao. This was actually a very quick floor. I really don't need to deal with that dragon, especially in close quarters, so I've already used up my bomb. I don't know why I decided to pass that. Uh, you know what? If it does the same thing, I can just... I don't need it. I don't need it. Nope, I'm not trusting it. Not trusting it. I'm sorry, I don't like trusting those things. Unless I accidentally walk on... Oh, for a moment there, I thought I didn't have the drawn press. We're just gonna go into here. And we're gonna leave the dungeon temporarily because we got our stuff done on that floor. And let's basically do some more configuring. Here's the thing, I thought we... Oh, Elnet's Llama. Important livestock. Elnet, Elnet, Elnet. We don't have Elnet's house. We have a windmill. And we have this. So, um, let's see here. I have one on this side, one on that side. Let's, you know, let's put it by the Macho Brothers' house. 
figure. Anything else? Okay, we do have Dron's Horn, so there is a special event that does happen at Dron's Windmill. Uh, who do I have here? I have Alnet, which, again, we don't have her. Unless I want her. Okay, just had to check. Yeah, we don't have Alnet's house. We have Hag's house. But we have nothing else. Huh. Okay. So one thing I'm realizing here. I set these things back up. I'm going to go check each one of them to make sure I didn't miss out on any good chests. Okay. Last one. Okay. So there is an event at Dron's Windmill. This is actually a required thing to build. And you do get a reward for basically completing this thing. You go in. There's a horn key. That will come into play later. Oh, speaking of which, there's more items in here. You know, I'm just going to double check to make sure there's not more items in here. Because I know I've collected all the items in here already, which, yep. We ha don't need to go and collect anything more. Unfortunately, we don't have any new houses. If we did have a new house, we would be able to set it up. Wait, which did I? I know I'm setting up the Hag's house, but did I check out the Hag's house for items? Let's make sure. Um, there's this. Dino Slayer, so that's nice. And anything inside for me to grab... Oh! Repair powder, power up powder, magic up power, undead buster, that's gonna be good on undead enemies. So we got ourselves some good items there. I gotta really remember to start checking all of these things. Now let's just go talk to good old Gaffer here. Is the door open? Do not sell this key! This is to enter Dron's room. Which is basically the final floor of it. Now let's see how much Petite Fish sells for. Eh, not that, that much. Okay. So first things first, let's figure out whether we need... Okay, we're obviously going to repair both the weapons we use, so... We're going to do speedy checkout on one, two of those... I don't need to buy more bread. I don't need to buy more water. Actually, let's buy some at least two waters to refill. And a bomb. Yeah, we should be good on that. And let's just make sure everything is good here. First things first, weapons. Repair. Oh, I do have a power a powder. But we're close to leveling up again. Ah, the temptations. Uh, I really wish I had more than one slingshot to work with here. I know I've been using the Chris knife a lot, but compared to the other weapons, this is actually the most endurable weapon. Compared to, like, the Shamshir or something. Uh I'm just gonna make sure. Is my customization items good? Oh, we can actually raise up the attack. So, you know, let's just do that. We don't need the dragon. If we see a dragon, we can easily change up our items as well. And if we do find... Here's the thing. The game does mention we can change the attribute if we need to. So, just keep that in mind as well. Okay, do I need to repair anything else? No. I... Thought I did. Okay. Let's make sure everybody is... I don't need to re increase the thirst. Okay, so we bought water for nothing. Okay. We got plenty of breaks, plenty of stamina drinks. Yeah, we have plenty of stuff for the next dungeon. So, 
Next time on Dark Cloud, we'll be going after the next floor.